Hi, welcome to the College Basketball Odds Couple Show for a Tuesday, March 8th. I'm Peter Lush. I sitting next to you is Mike Brenner. Mike Brenner, I think I'm, I'm going to start wearing some shades in these videos because I'm actually a very attractive guy, but I have ugly eyes. I have Pistol ugly Pete. eyes. I know so, one thing. After the production you and I have been putting out, we both need to be hiding behind shades. But nice. it's time to take them off because it's time to move forward. Okay. And with that being said, let's pan across here and look at the board because... I'm 7 and 10 since we started this, and that is 41%, which spells unacceptable mm -hmm. in my book. Pete's 9 and 11, mm -hmm. 9 and 11 at 45%, and I don't care what he says, it's unacceptable <laughs> to him as well. But what separates the men from the boys in this business is getting up, brushing your knees off, and moving forward. We're going to do that today. We're going to start to put it back together. And as with that being said, Pete, what do you think value-wise on the board? What do you think? Well, it's tough. It, it was a small card, and again, like the way we do this show is uh, just when we shoot it, I've only had time to look at the at the overnight spreads, yeah. the games with, with spreads on the overnight lines. And, of course, in the conference championship, a lot of the games get added. Like, for instance, I don't know if I'm going to bet it, but Gonzaga and, and St. Mary's. That's yeah. a very interesting yeah, game. Yeah, it is. You had St. Mary's. That was one of your winners. Last night. Right? had a big winner nice with call, them. Nice call, nice yeah. call. I had a... I, Big loser with Pepperdine, but I had a medium big winner with Pepperdine in the second half. There you so go. So I got about half of it back, but uh, you okay. nailed that one. That's an interesting game. The line is uh, Gonzaga minus two. Ooh. But again, when we shoot this game, just haven't had time to analyze it, nor the totals. Haven't had time to look at the totals. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I did look at the, uh, at the uh, overnight spreads, the games that had spreads on the overnight lines. There is one. Bet that I made. Okay. I'll share it. What the hell? Now you're going to uh, share it know, as a pick or yeah, just maybe share I'll, it? Yeah, maybe I'll share it as a pick. It's a minor conference game, Montana State. Mm -hmm. They're playing uh, Sacramento State. I took them on the overnight line at minus one and a half. Now it's minus two. Ooh, across that's a the good board. Sign. So, yeah, you know, best standard pick. Maybe there's some information that's going to come out breaking late that'll, uh, you know, change everyone's mind on it. But as of right now, looking like my initial bet was pretty decent. Mm -hmm. Montana State minus two. Ah, what the hell? I'll give it as a visual. But okay. Fine. Montana State minus two. Wow. Full game. Game. I like it. I like it. You got any picks for us, Mike Brown? I've got Eastern Washington today. Oh, that I, that was another one. That was there was an overhead line. That one I was. That yeah, was one of my playing Northern actually. Arizona. Yes, I yes, like Eastern yes. Washington on the half minus seven. Yes. Pete. Is the game still available at minus twelve and a half? Let's see. Uh, yeah. Oh. 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 Nope. 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 Minus thirteen across still the board. 13. Minus thirteen. Okay. Because I'm using them on the game and the half. The ah. game's minus thirteen. The half is minus seven. Eastern Washington. That's how I'm going to get back up. All right. Well, what can I say? You know, I. I that's definitely one of the plays that I saw in the overnights. Uh, I don't think I, I don't think I bet it, but it was definitely one way that I'm leaning. And uh, the overnight I like as well. Going to take a little bit hard to see here. Uh, let's see. Well, Anything. Your future's so bright. You got to wear shades. Pete. <laughs> Not really. Yeah. Ooh. Wisconsin, Green Bay, and Wright State. That's an interesting matchup. Yeah, yeah, right now, the that. line is uh, bouncing around at Pickham. I'm not exactly sure what I think about that as mm -hmm. of right now. Green Bay. That was a. That was a. Uh, pretty big loser for me, Mike yeah, Brenner. I, I had remember that. I'd be real. And then. I had them on the second half even bigger. So, oh, uh, wow. Oof, minus, yeah. Seven. Yeah. minus seven. Minus seven. That wanna... one hurt. Yeah, I had a losing day yesterday. Yeah. And that it's was okay. one of the big losers. That's but, okay. uh, you know, we will uh, we will fight back. And then other than that, not anything else. Not the ACC out kicks off, but they're early games today. Yes, that's yeah. right. That's right. Uh, and State. Wake Forest and NC State. Yeah. NC State's been kind of uh, slumping. I mean, they both played Boston they lost College. lost four out of five. And, yeah. and Wake Forest blew Boston College out. NC State barely got by them. Barely. Yeah. I, that's another one. I Actually, that is is one of my bets that I made. I'm not going to give it as a pick in the show, but I did take Wake mm -hmm. Forest at plus four and a half. Small, regular size bet, but... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Danny Manning, he'll have that team ready today. Yeah, those are the kinds of things that uh, that, that you tend to see in the conference championships. Teams that make very, very late uh, late season uh, corner turns, basically, sure. is a better sure. word for it, for better or for worse. When you have two teams that are appear to be turning opposite corners, one a good corner, one a bad corner, I find that it's definitely good to bet into that because uh, even if one of them is illusory, uh, you're still getting the other one. There you go. And unless the other one's making up for it in the opposite direction, you're probably Method getting at least the some madness from yes. Pete Loshak. All right, well, not a big slate of games today, but I guess we'll be back tomorrow for the Wednesday card, right? Yeah, right we will. It's going to be a big one tomorrow. And don't forget to t uh, check out SBR, the bracket contest. Sign up for it. There's 25,000 bet points uh, to the winner, all right? That's quite a lot of bet points. Ooh. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun, and uh, we're going to see what happens. And you're going to also have an opportunity to beat Pete and I in our bracket and, and uh, win some bet points as well. So Really? Yeah. Wait, wait, people are going up against us in the Absolutely. bracket? Absolutely. You didn't know about that oh, yet, but I got to lay that news on you. You don't know about right? Yeah. <laughs> Listen to this. Okay. My, fir my first year at SBR, right? My first year at SBR, I came here. I was like, oh, the bracket contest. Nice, nice prize. Uh, can I be in there? Like, yeah, sure. Why not? You cleaned the clock, didn't you? I won it. They were like, what the fuck, dude? I was like, you said who I was eligible. And then they're like, we didn't think you were going to win. It, That's it the God's honest year? truth. 
Yes, absolutely. <laughs> He's barred they were, from the contest. Yeah, no, they, I mean, they were after that, they were like, all right, SBR employee's not eligible. <laughs> I love it. You're a madman. Very true. You are a madman. And before we leave, let's pan across to this board again, because I want our viewers to know that accountability is everything. Seven and 10 at 41%. I'm going to move that number up. Just trust me. Be patient. Tranquila, Poppy. And Pete is at 9 and 11 for 45%. I'm going to be 50 50 going forward. So you that line it. is probably going to, that, that percentage is probably going to go, go up. up a go little bit. So, again, real important that you see accountability with us. So, well, Pete, I'm looking forward to the rest of this tournament kicking off. Next week is going to be absolutely a madhouse around here. So uh, anything else you want to throw That's out there? That's about it. We'll be back for the Wednesday card tomorrow. Looking forward to it. Great show.